this place is nice. We'll wait for the commander's return! There's the camp. Fira. Not what I expected. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? Nothing but that tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key. It's locked. I should check the tablet again. Aligned. to be in the right position. That should work. Now, to try the door. Finally. Now, find what lies within. in here. I should watch my step.
What is this place? Time to take a dive. This place is huge. Hello? Icaros! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible! I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century, if memory serves. And yet, here I am. Standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now... Here you are. I've traveled a long way to meet my real father. You? You were not sent here for a family reunion. There are bigger things at stake. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers! There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. Why should I help you? You were never there for me. You endured what you had to in order to be strong enough for what's to come. I never asked for any of this. Our destiny is a burden we must shoulder. It is not something we choose. What would you have me do? The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out.
I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Abstava. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said the assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you all right? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped on another desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? What I wouldn't pay for an ISU toolbox. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. It's real. I made it. Layla to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes. By the gods, Layla. It's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. Oh my, I'm Mystios. What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Yotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I'll find your apprentice, and recover the amulet piece without any trouble at all. Thank you. 
The gods have truly blessed me by sending you to help find Pibos. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Pibos. This must be Pibos. Or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the amulet. Perfectly. This must be the key. The statue. It's gone. Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! The statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. What can run but never walks? Has a mouth but never talks? Has a head but never weeps? Has a bed but never sleeps? A river. That could be. What is always old and sometimes new, never sad, sometimes blue, never empty, but sometimes full, never pushes, always pulls. The moon. An interesting choice. I create my lair with earth and string and dispatch my prey with a biting sting. A spider. Good thinking, little one. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices.
touch that chest. It's mine. I'm no thief, but if I was, I'd want something more valuable. Take that back! These ruins are an interesting place to set up camp. What brings you here? A long time ago, below this very spot, my pater, the great adventurer Nikios, entered the labyrinth to steal the Minotaur's treasure. As they waited outside, I heard shouts and roars. Then his men came pouring out. His men, but not Pater. I need to save him. The Minotaur was just a man in the mask. And not much of a man at that. Those idiots in Pefka. They wouldn't know a real Minotaur if it ran them through with its horns. It's not like that here, Mistios. Where is he then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your pater's. Find your pater. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die, and I will find your pater. Thank you, Mistios. No one ever believes me. <laughs> Just calm down and take me to the labyrinth. What's your name? Ardos. Now follow me. The entrance is way down on the ground. It's down, this way. This place is going to blow your mind, Mistios. There's a huge room, and there's a huge hole in the ground with a huge door. Everybody keeps going on about how Theseus killed the Minotaur. Lies. I heard it. A roar like... like a... rolling thunder. Yeah, that's it. The Minotaur is still alive and hungry. Great. I'm glad you came along. No pater has a shot of getting out of that damn labyrinth. They really didn't have to put the entrance this deep. Here we are. Isn't this amazing? I've seen some things, Ardos, but this... ...is amazing! So the Minotaur lies beneath Knossos Palace. Open the door. I've got the Minotaur to slay. Ah! Oh, right. It's locked. Don't worry, we'll find a way. You must know something. I don't, but the guys who went into the labyrinth with my pater will. I tried talking to them, but... But they won't speak to me. They'll speak to me. Who are these people? The Collector, Swordfish, and my old caretaker. My old caretaker. Boring old man. Never wanted to talk to me about my pater or the Minotaur. So I left him to find out the truth on my own. Bold. And the Collector is this guy who buys weird stuff. He's a merchant in Gortin. Oh, and the last guy. They call him... Swordfish. Of course. He's the boss of Octopus Bay. And he's mean. I'll make sure they all talk. You must be the hoarder. The collector. Dust collector, maybe. I'm here about the Minotaur. The... No, no, no. I don't. I can't. I don't know anything about the Minotaur. Ardos sent me. He says you know things. Ardos? The boy. Never talk to the boy. We all promised. I'm not here to break bones. I'm here for information. Give it to me, and I'll be on my way. 
I'll answer your questions, but you won't ask the right one. Can we not play games? Fine. You're going to need Theseus' armor, which I sold to be part of a collection at the fort. There's nothing wrong with my armor. Nikios thought his armor was the finest in the Greek world. He could have worn Theseus' when we found it. But I was the perfect fit. Minotaur struck me right in the chest. Should have died. But Nikios... Don't make Nikios' mistake. Wear Theseus' armor. Breathe, Collector. I've learned enough. If Theseus' armor is still in the fort, I'll find it. There are more pieces of Theseus' armor. I've only managed to attain two of them. But someone stole one from me. If you find it, you can have it. But give whoever took it a piece of my mind. And perhaps a piece of your blade. The hidden cave. Is real. I wonder how many more pieces of the Zeus's armor are there. This must be Ardos's house. Where's the boy? Ardos. You're his caretaker? Of course. I need to speak with him. Don't worry about Ardos. He's safe, far from here. Hmm. Where is he? I was told to expect an old man. You don't look the part. I... It's very important I see him. Who told you about the boy? Speak! It's nothing personal with the boy or the old man. But if I tell you anything, I am good as... Dead? Guess what'll happen if you don't tell me anything? Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? You'd stand by as an old man gets beaten. B but And you agreed to kidnap the boy! They're just up the road! The cult! Go kill them all! You'll be doing me a favor, too. Let me go, and I won't tell anyone what happened. I'll let Zeus decide your fate. I need to find the old man. Thank you, Mistyos. Old man is alive. I should check the temple in Festos. I've told you everything I know! Wait, wait! Who are you? Ardo sent me. Can you walk? The boy! Thank the gods! Let's get out of here before they return! The boy! Is he safe? Uh, alive? I won't let anyone hurt him. Though I do sometimes think about strangling him myself. Ardos has been known to test even the most resolute of wills. I'm looking for a way into the labyrinth. Ardos said you might know something. I know this. That place is death. 
Why would they hurt you? When the survivors fled the Minotaur, they left behind a disc. The key to the labyrinth. And I kept it. Then why do they think Ardos has it? Because he does. He stole it from me. And I told them about it. <laughs> they tortured me, Mystios. <laughs> I, I, I tried not to break. I failed him. I failed him all these years. The people who tortured you belong to a powerful cult. They have broken stronger men than you. You can still make things right with Ardos. As smart as he is, he still needs someone to look out for him. Family. He needs you. He doesn't even want to see me, Mistios. Keep trying. <laughs> About the disc. He doesn't know his true purpose, Mistios. With it, you'll be able to open the labyrinth. Just promise to keep him safe. He'll be safe with me. I should ask Ardos if the old man is telling the truth. This must be a part of Heseus' armor. Fancy. These fishermen should know something about swordfish. I'm looking for swordfish. I, I, I know nothing. Fishmonger? Over here. I'm looking for swordfish. Shh. Are you crazy? You don't find swordfish. Swordfish finds you. Now go before I get my nose cut off. I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes. Swordfish. I hope you know what you're in for. He's ruthless. Cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a rumor he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's all I know, mistress. I'll keep that in mind. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. What's the problem? My husband is missing. He went out fishing yesterday near Nafi and hasn't returned. You must miss him. This is more than a wife missing her husband. I truly fear he's in danger. In danger of what? Pirates. They were spotted in the area recently. I told them it was too dangerous, but we needed the Rahmi to pay sword fees. I could rescue your husband. For a price. Please, I'll find a way to pay. Just get him back. I'll look for your husband. Where should I start? His favorite fishing spot is on the west coast of Anafi, north of here. If he's alive, I'll find him. sent me to find you. Praise Poseidon! The pirates were waiting for high tide to attack. We need to leave now. I'll escort you back to Heraklion. I'm right behind you. Oh, 
I owe you beyond measure. How can I repay you? My services are expensive. I... of course. You worth every drachmi. Uh, there would be more, but Swordfish already took his cut. Tell me about Swordfish. Swordfish? Uh, even his name. I last saw him many years ago, diving for treasure around Fisherman's Beacon. I haven't seen him since. But his presence is felt everywhere in Heraklion. He is here. Somewhere. Should check out the waters near the beacon. Thank the gods! Mistios, I need your help. What's the problem? We've been ravaged by storms and rough seas. Poseidon is angry! Have you tried making an offering? A simple offering isn't enough to appease him. We need to perform a ritual, but we can't do it without our ceremonial axe. Sounds like you need to find that axe for Poseidon. I do, but not for Poseidon. For Swordfish. Swordfish? Tell me more about him. He's the one who ordered us to conduct this ritual every month. He runs the fish market. I can't say anymore. No one talks about Swordfish and gets away with it, Mistios. What if I insist? Then I insist you retrieve the axe for me. You insist? No, no. Politely request. And of course, there'll be plenty of Drachmi for your help, Mistios. Do you know where the axe is? Bandits took it. There's a cave east of town. If you follow the path along the shoreline, I'm sure you'll find them. I'll go take a look. And don't swing it around. It's a delicate ceremonial axe. <laughs> Better stay hidden. Must be the axe. Doesn't look like it can cut anything. Ah. Need something else to find that axe, Mistios? Who is this swordfish you want to impress? He'll kill me if I tell you. And I'll kill you if you don't. Swordfish has always run the fish market with an iron fist, charges the fishermen fees. If they don't pay up, the sharks eat well. Point me in Swordfish's direction. I don't know where he is. No one's seen him for years, Mistios. Some think he's dead. Just last week, some fishermen boldly said we should no longer pay fees to a dead man. Guess who's dead now? I'll take my chances. Where is he? He used to live at Fisherman's Beacon to the north. You could try your luck there. This axe would fetch a good price at the Aura. No, you can't sell it. Give it back. I'll pay you. Take all the drachmi I have. The axe was yours to begin with. Take it. You had me worried, Mistios. Thank you. I owe you my life. On here, swordfish. Limos, I knew you'd come. 
dog! Dog of Cosmos! Have you come to bite? I have nothing to do with occultists. Think I believe you! You're mad! I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact! Go fetch it! Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Vimos? Answers. And you will give them to me. How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the steel. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. He'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikio said! I'll feed you to this axe! Sword after all. Stupid flames, get out! Out, damn you! You can find Drachmi anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion. A broken man. Haunted by the Minotaur to the very end. I didn't steal it. The old caretaker said you... Go. He told you stuff? Did he tell you anything about my pather? No, he didn't, but... What about the collector? He said you're like your pather. Really? That's nice to know. Look, the old caretaker said you... Wait, wait, wait! And swordfish? What did he say? You found him, right? He said the key goes in the steely. Oh, I know where the steely is. But wait, what's this key you're talking about? The old man said you stole something from him. No, I didn't. Wait, what did he accuse me of stealing? The key to the labyrinth, a disc. Oh. You mean this old thing? I always wondered what it was for. Swordfish mentioned there was a place to put the disc. In a steely. Oh, so what do we do now? If we put the disc into the steely, the entrance to the labyrinth should open. Then I see about a minotaur. And... And you'll save my pattern too, right? I promised I'd save your pattern, didn't I? You're the best, Mistios. Your pattern and I will be back before you know it. Let's head to the entrance and try out the disc. Looks like a piece of Theseus's armor.
Be Minoan. What is this? Malaka, it's real. Why the gods? The string of the sails used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end. A creature of rage did this. This must be Nikios. A ring. Ardos might want this.
need to charge more for slaying mythical creatures. The Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Hardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I'm sorry, Hardos. Sorry? Why? Listen. You said you'd bring him back. You lied. Go back in there and find him. Hardos, you promised. He's dead, Ardos. We can't raise the dead. But we can move on. I'm afraid I'll forget him. I don't want to forget him. Take it. To remember him by. Better ring? Thank you. Thank you. We should get out of here. What will you do now? I don't know, Mistios. Without Pater, I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out together. Ardos. Remember, you're never alone. There will always be people who care. Stay out of trouble, boy. You know I can promise you that. I'll make sure of it, Mistios. Thank you. Let's go home, Ardos. I'd like that. Sorry, I stopped. I understand. And your amulet. What amulet? And your ring collection. So that's where? And your memoirs. I hadn't finished those. By the gods, you can't be stealing things all the time, Ardos. But I'm good at it. And I only steal from people who deserve it. I didn't deserve it. You deserve it from you. Well, I... You're right. I wasn't. Upon her. She worships a writhing dread. She must fa- Ah, Mistios! The gods are real. Help me, please! Silence, snake. What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice. They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue. 
This walking curse is in league with a writhing thread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the Petrified Temple and your doom. This writhing dread has let Ligia live. We'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I'd suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mistios. Citizens, we must save our city. And these interlopers must plead. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. They worship the writing trash. Kill them before they come to wrath upon us. You're safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mistyos. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more. Even if it kills me. Love might be the end of us all, but it's a price worth paying. I polished Charon's drachmi long ago, Mistyos. I'm ready. You know, I don't want to call you you forever. My name's Brice. Cassandra. Ligia's waiting for me, Cassandra. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the Dread Ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city. Why do you stray that way, Mistyos? This place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. Be here. What is this place? It's empty of life. We enter the realm of the writhing dread. Listen, it's as if sound itself is afraid of what the fog veils. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. These statues are unnervingly lifelike. And their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. If Ligia, if she's... if she's stone, how will we bury her? She'll never meet Haron. <laughs> Scrap of clothing. Ligia! My guess, Ligia's. Whatever tore it from her was savage. Brice, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. We need to get inside, but I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, 
Her smell. Every night we'd meet at the dread ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose. Something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time. Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You are searching for a rose. A gift. Never regret an act of kindness, Brice. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Chios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible! But many believe him. He might know something. I'll find a way inside. And then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Cassandra, hurry. opens the writing dreads layer like they say. Oh, no! Our Excuse me? We're born into darkness and rise up to the greatest peaks before descending into darkness once more. A warrior and a sophist. This is a first. It is not philosophy. It's truth. Learn through violence, fate, and seeing evil. True evil. You're talking about the writhing dread? The creature. When it ambushed us outside, we thought only of survival. My spear allowed me to stay out of its gaze. I was lucky. My friends weren't. Give me that spear. We are warriors. To let it go without a fight would be to dishonor my fallen friends. What kind of stunt is this? Nothing special about this spear. The mercenary knew nothing. He never made it inside the lair. Then it was a waste of time. Ligia waits and we've done nothing to help her. Not exactly. The mercenary carried this spear, which he claims killed the writhing dread. No, no, the creature took Ligia. It can't be dead. It waits in its lair, even now. Then there may be a piece of this puzzle we don't yet understand. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... ...disc... ...key... ...this... I have what opens the lair. And... ...you didn't hurt any of the daughters when you took it? 
Eh, there was no need for violence. The daughters of Artemis didn't even know I was there. And Tihi truly is on our side. Ligia still stands a chance. You have no idea what... Breeze! Only one myth speaks of turning victims to stone.
artifact and transformed into that creature. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Silence is preferable to empty words. Was it difficult to find this artifact? I just had to keep my eye on it. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Call me Aletheia. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? Taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Its owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We east you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. 
Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alithia says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is... An opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Fear not. Above the cloud with its shadow is the star with its light. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing... It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. Congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control. 
but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness. Friction. Well, I thought there would be wisdom that is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There's no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There's so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then? Open sesame. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. 
You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important. Where is it? What? True knowledge exists in knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Impossible. Sandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. I... I 
have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along! He's your father, after all. <sighs> he was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means... he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. 
gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. For all we know, anything's possible. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. Perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. <laughs>